talk about EQ. Now, equalization in music is a pretty simple process to understand. It's basically taking a certain frequency and lowering that frequency in volume. And you could either get very surgical with it and be very, very harsh in making sure that it's only a very small amount of a certain frequency, or you could round it out a lot and make it take out a decent amount of a range of frequencies. Now, EQing in music is used all over on melodies, bass lines, drums. But in this video, we're gonna mainly be talking about how to use EQ on vocals and the best methods to make vocals come through a mix using EQ. EQ. <laughs> this video is probably gonna be super short and straight to the point. And if you're a more advanced producer, this probably isn't gonna be for you. It's more of a beginner tutorial. Well, let's actually hop into FL and learn how to EQ. Okay, so I have a song I made here a couple videos back, the Juice World AI one. And what we're gonna be doing is just going over different methods that I used to get these vocals to sit right. So first thing I'm gonna do is just let you guys listen to what this actually sounds like. Now this is my voice. I recorded it down here and then ran it through AI to make it sound like Juice World. But this is what it sounds like. She just like up, up, up from above, thought she was having sex. Now that I'm up right now, it don't make any sense. Still on my cup, little bitch, shop sipping beverages. Naked. As you can see, the vocals are cutting directly through the mix. They're sitting over top the beat. Honestly, if I were to mix this a little bit better, I definitely would bring the vocals down a bit. But the EQ is making the vocals sound bright and cut right through the mix. So let me show you guys what I actually did here. Now, with an EQ, I use FabFilter Pro Q3. But even the Fruity EQ works just as good. It's just all a matter of preference. And obviously there are some better features with a paid version like FabFilter. But as far as the equalizer works, you have your frequencies all the way up to 20K over here. And your frequencies as low as 2020 down at the bottom. Now, lower frequencies are usually going to be bass. And as you go up in frequency, it's going to get higher and higher until you reach this mark where it literally just sounds like a whistle. Now, as far as a range goes on vocals, I'd say 5K to 20K is your high end. And that 10K to 20K mark is really where you're going to get the air in the vocal, where it's going to sound real high. Then you got your 1 to 5K. And this is going to be like the high mids of the vocal, which really get that like talking presence. So this is honestly a very important part of the EQ. Obviously, you can see I didn't do too much here because I wasn't getting too surgical, but we will do that later on in the video. And then your 2 to 500 is your lower mids. Pretty important part of the vocal as well. But depending on where you want to go, leaving this in and bringing the volume up could kind of give you that yeet effect where there's a lot of low end in the vocal and bringing it out can make the vocal sound very soft and smooth. Now, when you get down to 20 to 100 hertz, that's like the really low end of the vocal. I don't really ever see any vocals ever needing these frequencies in there. And in most vocal chains, you're never going to see an EQ that's not cutting those. Now, let's actually solo this vocal out and show you what the EQ is actually doing. So I'm going to turn it off. We're also going to turn off the delay and reverb. And I'm just going to play this back and forth once with it off and once with it on. So this is what the vocal sounds like with the EQ off. She just like up, up, up from above, thought she was having sex, now that I'm up, right? And this is what the vocal sounds like with the EQ on. She just like up, up, up from above, thought she was having sex, now that I'm up, right now, it don't make any sense. Now, if you really pay attention, you're gonna notice the vocal's a lot brighter. A lot of the mud from the vocal is pulled out of there. And overall, the vocal just sits better. And it was what I was going for in the mix. There's a lot of different things you could do to make this vocal sound completely different with EQ. But what I'm going to do now is just play it and turn it on and off so you guys could see what it sounds like. She just like up, up, up from above, thought she was having sex. Now that I'm up right now, it don't make any sense. Still up my cup, little bitch, shop sipping beverages. As you can see, it is doing a lot to the vocal. It's helping out a lot. And when you play this with the beat, it definitely helps. Let's turn the beat on. She just like up, up, up from above, thought she was having sex. Now that I'm up right now, it don't make any sense. All right, now let's talk about getting surgical with the EQ. So we're going to go over EQ sweeping, which is basically taking a point and then you would sweep through the vocal, turning it really high up, but making it very narrow and just trying to find any bad frequencies. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to start all the way at the top. Up, up, up from above, thought you was having sex. Now that I'm up right now, it don't make any sense. Still love my As you can see right here, there's a lot of ringing. So we're going to make this even more narrow and just pull that out. As you can see, I was kind of already taking that out before. We'll grab another point and do another sweep. Make sure it's on a bell curve. Make it narrow. And let's go down over here. Up, up, up from above. Thought she was having sex. Now that I'm up right now, it don't make any sense. Still on my cup, little bitch. Shop sipping beverages. Make it right, right now. There's a little bit of a whistling right here, so we'll pull that out as well. Let's make another bell curve. Up, up, up from above. Thought she was having sex. Sounds pretty bad as well. Let's pull that out. Pretty narrow. And there really shouldn't be anything too much down here that we want to pull out. 
but let's just go through it. Up, 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 from above, thought she was ever sent. Now that I'm up right now, it don't make any sense. Still on my cup, little bitch, I'm sipping beverages. Now with these cuts, I'm going very Jurassic. As you can see, I'm pulling down minus five right here, minus nine right here, minus six, and minus five again. But let's go through our A and B and see how this is happening. Up, 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 from above, thought she was ever sent. Now that I'm up right now, it don't make any sense. Still on my cup, little bitch, I'm sipping beverages. Make it right, right. Now, the best way for me to explain the way I'm hearing this is it makes it sound like it was recorded in a much better room. We're pulling out some of those frequencies inside of my room that were just making the vocals sound very bad. And one big tip with vocals, as far as pulling out the low end, I see a lot of people EQ like something like this, where it's like a brick wall almost. I would not recommend doing this. It's going to make the vocal sound a bit too harsh, in my opinion. You want to make it sound a little softer by going like this, which allows that low end to be subtly pulled out and not a huge Jurassic difference. Now let's go over the ad libs. For the ad libs, I'm going to show you guys what I did to make it sound like a phone. So it sounds like this. And I did use a fruity parametric EQ. And whenever you want to make something sound like a phone, all you got to do is make this shape right here. Pull out some of the high end and pull out all the lows and some of those low mids. And you're going to get that telephone sound. Now, when you do make the phone, you do want to pull up. You don't want to have it flat like this. You want to have some resonance. So pull up the EQ like this. It'll just make it sound a little bit more like a phone because it'll make the main frequency sound a little bit distorted. It's always good. So let me show you guys what this sounds like with and without. So here it is without it. Then here it is with it. But yeah, so that's the very simple and basic tutorial on vocal EQing. I know it was a super simple tutorial, but like I said, it was more for the beginners. And I've been getting a lot of people commenting and just wondering about how to EQ. So I hope this helped out for you guys. If you're still having issues, make sure you join the Discord and create a ticket and you can just ask me any questions you need. That's all I got for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces.